Good morning, and welcome to NYNJPA Weather. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, and we have a lot to talk about this morning. Uh, if you've seen the new model guidance, you know why. So let's get right to it. So here's the current map this morning, and we still have our powerful ocean storm to the uh, east of the uh, Canadian Maritimes and New England, still continuing to produce light to moderate snow over, over parts of New England, and some snow showers for Connecticut and Long Island. Uh, for the most part, expect some flurries. It's really not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, high pressure is going to be over the Ohio Valley and ridge into New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And we have an interesting uh, disturbance that is sitting up over the northern plains that produced snow over parts of uh, Minnesota yesterday for the uh, Monday night football game. Uh, so what's going to happen as we move forward in time? Well, let's take a look at the water vapor satellite picture. Now you can see out in the Atlantic, our very powerful ocean storm is sitting out over uh, the northwestern Atlantic. And notice the red and black swath over here over New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania. That's sinking dry air. Uh, basically, this upper level low is not going to be moving very fast over the next several days. And it's going to act like a giant metal wheel and crush any of these disturbances that, for example, are over the northern plains or over the Ohio Valley and basically crush them, uh, like basically into little tiny pieces. So basically, we really won't expect much in the way of precipitation uh, over much of the northern Mid-Atlantic through at least Friday, which is excellent if you're traveling on Christmas Eve or before Christmas Eve. It really shouldn't be much in the way of travel hassles. Again, there will be a threat for some snow showers over parts of Connecticut and uh, Long Island, possibly even New York City uh, today and tomorrow. However, again, these snow showers will be weak, generally flurries. Uh, the more steady snowfall will be more towards Boston, and even that will be tapering off as we move forward to the next couple of days. So overall, the week before Christmas, which is on Saturday, really won't be all that bad. Unfortunately, Christmas night, through, oh, let's say Monday, is looking to be a bit more stormier. Let's take a look at the latest model guidance. Right, we're using the European model guidance from the Penn State Iwana. The European, for the most part, is the most trustworthy medium range model guidance that uh, you can use, which is why I'm using it here. Now, on Wednesday evening, we have three disturbances that are going to be a major player over the next several days. One will be entering Southern California, it is currently over the Pacific right now. Another one will be over the Pacific Northwest, which is associated again with this upper level low that will be over the Gulf of Alaska. And a third is a disturbance over the Arctic. Now, I want to stress with this forecast going forward that we really have a lack of data on these disturbances as they are right now. The models could be handling this perfectly fine. And uh, this, the models usually pick up these major storms rather well. But we've already seen last week, uh, last week in, in fact, that uh, if these disturbances are just a little bit off in timing, and you know, in yet last weekend's case, four hours, uh, the major storm seen on the model guidance turns out to be nothing more than a few flurries uh, if the storm is a little bit further east. Because of certain interactions going on in the tropics, uh, something called an MJO pattern uh, in phase seven, I think that there is a better potential for a winter storm than what we saw last weekend. There's just a lot more support going into the storm, but these are the three features that we're going to be keeping an eye on. So here we are on Christmas Eve, which is on Friday, and notice a couple of key features here. One, we have a very impressive perfectly aligned PNA ridge, which is shown on almost all model guides, a huge indicator of a major storm developing. We have our disturbance that was over Southern California moving into the Gulf Coast, and we have a phase, the first phase, between disturbance two and three over the Northern Plains. So now we're down to two disturbances here. But again, note again that it's relying on the phasing or combining of these disturbances, which can always be tricky with a forecast. So I just want to make sure that that is certain that there's still a lot of uncertainty with the way that this whole pattern unfolds. We also have a developing 50-50 low, which slows down the pattern. That's 50 north, 50 west. An upper level low in this position forces a storm along the east coast to slow down. And if it slows down and doesn't, it basically remains along the coast, that could produce some significant snowfall. 
almost every major winter storm that has impacted New York City and Philadelphia has had that upper level low to the east of the Canadian Maritimes in place. And of course, our ridge over the Rockies. Moving forward on to Christmas uh, evening. Now, I think that the European model guidance is a little bit slow here. I would not be surprised if we start seeing snow move into southern New Jersey by Christmas afternoon. Uh, the Basically what we're seeing here is that the two disturbances phase. We have a positively tilted trough that starts to tilt to, to the negative. And we know that because of the way that the heights are building over the uh, northwestern Atlantic and towards uh, New England, which supports high pressure and keeps cold air locked into the coast. We have our perfectly aligned PNA ridge, very impressive, and our upper level low over the uh, Gulf of Alaska remains in the Gulf of Alaska, which means this ridge is not going to get knocked down very quickly. So it stays in place and allows the storm to develop. And then we move to Sunday night. Again, this all depends on how these disturbances phase, but the European model guidance, the Canadian model guidance, even GFS for the most part is moving towards this scenario setting up. And if this sets up, then what we're looking for is a major winter storm. If you have an upper level low that's starting to develop at 500 millibars around Cape May and just off the Delaware coast, that usually leads to a significant snowfall for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. And when I say significant, I mean significant. Also, when we look at the surface map, you notice that the isobars are very tightly packed. This means it is going to be very windy. Again, if everything works out as the model guidance is showing, this would lead to not only a very snowy uh, Sunday, but also a very windy one at that, which would mean that visibilities would be significantly reduced. Notice this red line. This red line is the rain-snow line, basically, and that remains well off the coast, which means that this snowstorm will remain all snow. Now, one thing I want to point out at 850 millibars is that the thermal gradient at 850 millibars is extremely intense. Uh, basically, we go from the coastal borders of around 0 degrees Celsius all the way to a little bit below minus 10 degrees Celsius at 850 millibars. Why is that important? A thermal gradient of this magnitude leads to incredible lifting along the coast. Uh, if it transpires, and again, that's a big if, then uh, don't trust the uh, QPF or the moisture output, the uh, liquid output for the storm. Uh, because this type of lifting just pretty much creates all sorts of havoc with the models. Uh, it's called uh, basically uh, mesoscale banding. And when you get mesoscale banding, your snowfall forecast can be, get thrown off the window and uh, down into the gutter, uh, depending on how these bands set up. But this is a clear signal of that threat, so it's something we're going to keep an eye on. Uh, also, when temperatures are this cold at 850 millibars, Snow ratios are much higher than 10 to 1. You're looking at 15 to 20 to 1 if this actually transpires and sets up. So we are seriously looking at a major winter storm here setting up for Christmas night into Sunday. I think Christmas evening we'll start to see light snow build into the region. For the most part, that I think some of the warm air advection coming off the Atlantic will start to uh, develop some of these snow showers over parts of southern New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania and build into the rest of the region as we move through Christmas night. And then the major storm will hit on Sunday and continue into Monday morning. Uh, again, I want to stress that this whole storm sets up based on the interaction of various disturbances and that the pattern sets up just right. But all indications point to this happening. So I'll have to keep an eye on this major storm to see how it works out. Thank you for trusting in NYNJPA Weather as your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen D. Martino. Have an excellent day.